What should you have built by 100 days and don't starve together? This guide's going to be going over what one person should be able to build by 100 days and don't starve together, if you're playing really efficiently. In the first 10 days, the runes should be rushed, desert found, pig king found, and useful wormholes found. The desert is normally the best area to base in, but if the wormholes are good enough, there may be a better base location. By day 20, there should be two ice boxes, six crock pots, a planted spider egg nearby, a shadow manipulator, an alchemy engine, a lightning rod, a berry farm with at least 10 bushes, four chests, a bird cage with a bird in it, a fire pit, and a scaled furnace. In the chosen base location, if playing as wicker bottom, it is okay to skip killing the dragonfly until later if the bee queen is killed instead. By day 30, add 16 more chests, farm a cane, kill claws, kill deer clops, and start collecting extra wooden rocks needed for the ruins base later. By day 35, you want to kill the bee queen. If you're playing as wicker bottom, this will take much less time, meaning this time can be used for collecting wood and rocks. By day 40, the berry bush farm needs to have at least 50 berry bushes, and should be made in this pattern. Then a piece of food gobblers want to eat should be placed in the middle, so the gobblers can be killed easily for extra food. By day 45, lightning rods should be added to any important areas. For example, areas with lots of reeds, as wicker bottom or cacti is every character. This time should be used to collect extra rocks, extra logs, 20 saplings, and 20 grass tufts for the ruins base later. By day 50, you should have a ruins base made. It should be built in an area away from danger, yet close to lichen. It needs to have 20 chests, 2 ice boxes, 6 crock pots, an alchemy engine, a bird cage without a bird in it, 20 saplings, 20 grass tufts, and a spider egg. Wickerbottom doesn't need the spider egg. Instead, Wickerbottom should bring multiple on tentacles books and have 60 plus fence so she can make a Splamonkey farm. By day 55, as Wolfgang, the statues for the shadow pieces should be completed. As other characters, time should be spent making the ruins base safer by destroying Splamonkey pods that are too close to the base, clearing slurpers, etc. By day 60, the antlion should be killed, necessary resources moved to the ruins, and if you're Wolfgang, the shadow pieces should also be killed. By day 71, if playing as any character but Wolfgang, the ruins should be completely cleared, and if playing as Wickerbottom, a Splamonkey Marm should be made. The next section, up until day 71, is for Wolfgang only. By day 65, eight fossil pieces should be collected, and most of the gear for the Fuel Weaver battle should be collected. I'd recommend four Thulacite crowns, two Dark Swords, 40 to 60 cooked green mushrooms, and 10 pierogi. By day 68, all gear for the Fuel Weaver should be collected and Atrium found. By day 71, you should have that Fuel Weaver killed. By day 72, you should be back at the surface waiting for Bearger. When he spawns, lure him to a safe area where he won't hurt your base and leave him there, so you can go back to your base and get food. By day 77, use Bearger to chop down most of a forest and kill tree guards. Keep doing this until he dies. Alternatively, if there's a reed trap, lure Bearger through it. By day 100, add cobblestone turf to both bases and add more chests. The cobblestone turf will be useful for killing shadow creatures while on the base, making them less annoying. Congrats! If you've done all the things listed here, you can now live forever with no fear of dying. Don't forget to make life-giving amulets just in case. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If this video can get 3,000 likes, I'll make a sequel to this video. What two people should have built by 100 days and don't starve together.